This is a long-term review of RockShox Recon Forks. So I've had these for three and a half years. I've ridden them in the mountains going downhill. I've also ridden a lot on the beach. So this was my mountain bike for a year or so. And then after that, I'd just been riding on the beach. So obviously the ocean is full of salt and there's a lot of sand that can really muck things up. So let's take a look at it and just give a visual impression after three and a half years. You can see where it slides. This is, it has a hundred millimeter to travel, which is this much, but it on the street, jumping curbs and hitting little bumps, that's about as far as it travels. So where the slider slides, it's fine, but you can see all that rust. It's really taking effect. We're gonna, I'll try to clean that rust off at the end of the video and just see how bad it is if I steal wool it and put some car wax on it. But, but these fork legs will rust, so that's, thing number one you need to know. Uh, the lockout works really well when you lock it out. There's still a little bit of bounce, so it's not a pure lockout, but it definitely uh, makes it feel pretty rigid up front. It's real easy to add air. I, every six months or so, it'll be down a little bit and I've got to pump it back up. So it, it did come with a shock pump. So there was a shock pump included and I just make sure that it's at the right level. I crashed into a park bench sideways on the street, jumping a curb and uh, just damaged my sticker. So sturdy, all around good, smooth ride. The only knock I would have on it is if you're riding it in sandy, salty conditions and never ever cleaning it, it's gonna rust. There's just not much you can do about that. Off-road, it worked great. I should mention that too. So going, we took it to Snow Summit a couple of times and went up in the ski lifts and took the, I didn't go on any black diamond runs with it, but I did the blue and I did the green and it sucks up bumps way better than the stock fork, which would bottom out. And, and just be downright frightening. So this thing definitely takes a hammering on the trail. And is much more controlled and feels a lot better than the standard, you know, $350 bike cheap fork. So I'm happy I bought it. Uh, still happy with the performance. Let's clean it up and see just how good it looks if I steel wool it and try to get all that rust off. Let's see if this is salvageable. So if you give it a little paper towel, that will show us just how bad the pitting is, and it does look pretty bad. Sometimes chrome gets rusty and it looks like a bad thing, but then you realize it's all just a big surface cluster. This doesn't look like that. This looks like these things are shot. So if we steal wool it a little bit. Bad news, man, yeah. So there's definitely big fat rust chunks here. On this side, it looks even worse. I'll give you a close up here in a minute. Take it off the tripod. The tripod is for you, uh, Romaniac. You know, I know how much you love tripods. So I'm using the tripod today just for you. Oh yeah, that's wrecked. So on the, in my normal street travels, I don't ever extend it past about 50 mil, but if I wanted to use the full 100, this would tear up my fork seals in a minute. So bad news, man. And there is a close-up in this honest review, a close-up of the pitting on these forks. No bueno. But this is riding it at the beach, getting it covered up with salt and never, ever, ever washing it. So maybe if you wash your forks, you'll have a different result. And for comparison contrast purposes, this is my son's bike that has been all over the place. He rides in Santa Cruz with the Mountain Bike Club. He has taken it downhill at Snow Summit multiple times. This is a Fox. 36 fork and they've got this gold plating on it so this thing's taken a beating it's probably I don't know, eight to ten years old we bought this bike pretty well used and thrashed a few years ago and so if you want to spend the big bucks you get much better longevity than if you spend the 200 bucks on the base model RockShox fork but that being said it's perfect for what I do riding around the city sucking up the bumps commuting around and and on the trails it has good control and it good response, much better than a regular cheap box bike fork. So I think I got good value out of it and I will continue to on the street with it.